I just, I like baseball. I want to, I like good swings and we can talk it through. Okay. We have a choice of Travinsky, Neil, Monster, and Tommy. Who do you want to go with first? I feel like Monster maybe just because. Let's of, do Travinsky first. Okay. Let's do Travinsky first. Let's go with Because this one I liked a lot. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen this yet. Off the scoreboard, coach. Can you just back that up to contact? Yeah, let me get the uh, slow mo. Yeah, we're gonna go. First of all, elite. No, no, keep going. Just go get the contact yeah. first. We'll we'll back it up from the start. But I want to be able to show this too. I love being able to talk about stuff like this. God, it's so good. So man. that's a little further than contact. Yeah, I just missed just, it. Did you get back Stop. on it? Toe touch. Oh my God, that's so good. Can you go one more frame? Is yeah, that possible? Let me slow it down just a touch. And for those of y'all looking at it saying, "Oh, he's not squishing the bug," stop Damn that bug. Ain't no bug. That's called rotation. That, the back foot off the ground, is awesome. If you go look at any elite hitter in the big leagues, that is what happens. They're going through the baseball. Back foot comes off the ground. This is Lloyd, unbelievably amazing. Can you go one more frame or no? Yeah. Oh, you missed it. One more back. That was two frames. So just one more frame. I, this, it's up to the computer sometimes. No, you got the finger Stop. on it. Stop. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Here we go. So wow. here's, what, here's what I first love about this because I love when people try to tell you you got to go down and get the low ball, right? Like this ball's right at probably the top of the kneecap. There's no going down to go and get that. Understand that that barrel, mm -hmm. balls that are low, your barrel is going to be basically vertical to the ground. Because if I told you to stand there with both hands kind of straight down in front of you and both hands on the bat, and then you tell me how low the actual sweet spot, the barrel of the bat reaches, it's going to be probably to about mid shin. So the people that think like, hey, these low balls, I need to take the bat straight down to it and basically leave my backside and go get it. You're wrong. This is a guy hitting a ball off the scoreboard on a low ball. How does he do that? It's by understanding how to use your backside and understanding that the bat path is going to have to take and that there is way more barrel to it than you actually think. Almost kind of think of it this way. I, it's not really the same thing, but when I stand up there and I play golf, right, the sweet spot of the golf club is touching the ground, right? If I put my bat down and I'm holding my bat like I would hold a golf club, where's the sweet spot of my bat? It's going to be mid-shin-ish, right? That's about how much coverage you actually have. And you people don't understand that my swing doesn't change because the ball is low. I just got to let it get a little deeper. And I got to understand how to still take that same path inside of that same pitch. No doubt. Go back to it. Give me one second. Okay. What happened? I'm getting you all set up in the corner. <laughs> we give you all this time. No time at all. <laughs> I forgot that I did this last time. This is easier. Looks better. Okay. Merge. Well, okay. I need you to go back. I am. Okay. And yeah, stop at the right. Actually, up. stop. Okay. Things still oh, no, I was getting rid of the. Okay. I'll, I'll need you to stop at contact. Stop right there. Right here. Boom. Okay. Now, I'm about to say go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. So you talked, and I want to get to your point <laughs> about getting down to a low pitch, right? But we talk about separate. You can go one more click, actually. Oh, backwards again. When is? Tell me when. No. Well, it's a little okay. We'll we'll go from there. Stop, 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 stop. So, two clicks before when he landed the first time he had toe touch. We talked about last week. We wanted to see a lot of, almost call it like a scap load, right? Where you wanted to see where he landed. You didn't want to see him moving his hands and or pushing his hands backwards or bringing his hands with him, right? You wanted to see his body going forward. His hand staying still with kind of that rubber band effect, right? Travinsky gets that on this. Now, this is obviously a two clicks when he's starting his swing. But when you get to this point, your first motion cannot be this way, right? Like, it can't be around with your shoulder. Your first motion needs to be this way, right? Like, you're trying to drag. You're trying to bring that elbow into Stop. the slot. Stop. Stop, boy. So, and now that he's put into that point, see, here's where, this is where it becomes tricky at, which a lot of people don't like. like he's to, still loaded up in that which, hip. Too. Which, yeah, and this is why, this is why the, the, the foundation is so important to me. So a lot of people, what Mikey's talking about is awesome. And that's where 
really I would love to see every single hitter get is you actually loading that and using that as much as you can and creating as much of a rubber band as you can. Here's where it becomes not fair and where it becomes different for guys who are who hold a lot of mass and are hold a lot of length. And what I mean by mass is you weigh a lot, you as a person. What I mean by length is you have very long limbs and possibly even may weigh a lot as well. Stand next to Hayden Travinsky. That is a large, large man to where what I'm saying is when you watch him now, there's more that he could be doing. There's more that he can be rubber band create wise, like upper half. But guess what? Because of the mass, because of how unbelievably sound his lower half is and how he's using it and how there's no drift and how he is literally connected all the way until he pulls this trigger and stays connected through the swing is why he's able to do what he's what he does with not even using the upper half as much as he needs to because he doesn't need it yeah. because he's that big he's that strong and he's that connected and that grounded with his base already well he doesn't need to use it because you said it's grounded with his base you're gonna get most of your pop from your lower half, right? Which we all know. And when he starts to swing, keep going a little bit more. More. Stop. So you see the gap between the bat and his back shoulder. You see how, how, how small that gap is? That is the definition of connection. So now the bat is staying here. Now if the bat was out here, he's not near as strong. Like, this ball's not going to go. It's probably going to be a rollover to the third baseman or the shortstop. It's not going to be driven off the scoreboard. He is staying so connected here to where – and he's, he has room with his back shoulder or his back elbow where it can clear and he can get through. If his back elbow gets stuck, he's got nothing to get through, and that's how you, you have to compensate and you kind of roll this way. But that now the fact that he's connected and he's kind of got that – that lean, his back shoulder, come, his back elbow comes through. Now he's not only connected, but he's got space to work through the middle of the field, right? And then if you keep moving, you get to contact right there. It is a pitch down the zone. Jared already talked about it. You do not go get the ball down with your hands. No. You go or get your the, upper body. Or your upper body. Yeah. You don't lose posture to go get the ball down the zone. You go get the ball down the zone with your legs, and that's just staying grounded. Yeah. As long as you don't lose posture and you stay there, the only thing that changes is what your contact point. Not, yeah. hey, I got to go down and get it, or I got to go do something different. And he stays down. This pitch is a pitch down the zone. This is hard to elevate unless you do it the right way. And he goes down and gets it, and this is an absolutely pitcher-perfect swing. Also, when you were younger, when I was younger, they used to tell me, if you want to pull the ball, you got to hit the ball out, way out in front. No. If you want to hit the ball at the middle, it's got to be even with your front side. If you hit the ball to the opposite field, it's got to be inside your front foot. Let it travel. That's almost four feet that you got to make a difference. False. Then in reality, it's about six inches difference. If you, hit, you want to pull the ball outside of your front foot, you make contact outside your front foot. If you want to hit the ball up the middle, even with your front foot. If you want the ball at right center field, just inside your front foot. That's six inches that you have to make. This pitch... He's making contact a L- little bit outside of his front foot. This ball goes off the left center field scoreboard. Here's, here's what I got to you, Lloyd. Can you go just a little bit further, and I'll tell you when to stop. Oof. Go a little bit further. Oh, wait. Look go at that bit. extension. Oh, th- that's what I'm getting to. Okay. Go a little bit further. So you can stop here. So for me, now he has not left his stance. He is finishing a swing. And I try to tell guys this all the time. If you want to watch someone finish through a swing, for me – Direction is super, super, super key. But direction starts with understanding how to get direction. It doesn't matter if the pitch is on the black inside or the pitch is on the black away. What you want to be able to do is keep your weight moving through the pitcher, through the middle of the field, as long as possible. Now, what the hell does that mean? Okay, you see that back shoulder, his right shoulder? You want to be able to get that shoulder through so far that you feel like that shoulder is what's taking you right to the pitcher now contact point becomes it doesn't really matter I'll catch you somewhere along this train but if I can always be moving through the pitcher if I can always find a way to get inside and get my back shoulder as far forward as possible 
That means you're staying in the zone very long and you're giving your bat and your barrel the longest chance to make solid contact before you leave the zone and come out of it. I mean, this is... So that's how the extension's there, yeah. if you ask me. So if you... Stop it. <clears throat> now go a little bit longer. Stop it. Here's also what I like. You're talking about extension and direction and getting through the baseball, right? That is everything. You hear that from every hitting coach. This is the definition of getting through. When he makes contact, when you saw, he made contact and his front, front side was stiff. Then he continues that direction. He stays through the baseball. You're not, your swing's not over with when you make contact. Mm -mm. It's over with when you get through contact. Right, because if you go contact here and you go out the zone, it's, you get a nice little or six hopper to get single. a little top, top spin single, maybe something in the six hole, maybe a, double, maybe a two hopper to short and you go and you ass back to the dugout. Right. You hit hard, good exit velo. But yeah, probably great exit down. velo. Yeah. Right. This one, he gets to it, he sits through it, he gets through it, directions continuing to go to center field, and that's why you see when he finishes the swing, the, the front knee ends up starting to bend because he is getting – as far out, as far extended as he can. Continue. And he's going, and then he gets that finish, and it's off the scoreboard. Like, it's, that is a favorite swing of the weekend. Yeah. And I can tell you right now, if that's what you're going to get from Hayden Dravinsky, you may see 25-plus this year. I mean, that's special. That's, I'm just going to let you know that. It's, that's not – that ain't, oh, he just got popped. Yeah. No, that's a, that's a special swing. Early right in the year. And you get that. I mean, early in his career – um, and, and you get this, honestly, let me be honest with you. You get that, the ability to walk away from a swing like that. When you walk through it, when you fall. That lets you know how balanced he is. Mm -hmm. That's how balanced in his swing he is that he can walk away from a swing like that. Yep. His, his, his ability to have a pimp job comes from his ability to be so balanced and yeah. so grounded that it's not even funny. Earlier in his, uh, like early in his college career, he struggled with some velo. He did not struggle with you last year. No. And I don't expect him to struggle with you. His swing right now looks amazing, and this is a picture-perfect swing. Best, my favorite swing of the weekend. That boy Ocho. Mm. Great pimp job, too. Yeah, yeah. That thing literally, the bat drop finished the swing. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs>